Hello everybody and thanks for joining me on my journey from zero to $5,000 per month by selling on Amazon. On today's episode, we're going to walk through the process of opening a new Amazon account. I opened my own account just a little while ago and I wanted to share what I've learned in the process. Let's get started. First, you'll need to create a seller account. Visit services.amazon.com and sign up using your regular Amazon account. You'll need a credit card on hand, a debit card won't work, a business license, and a recent utility bill. Amazon may not ask you to verify all of these items, but it's best to be prepared. Next, we're gonna fill out our business information. Amazon wants to know all the basics, your name, address, phone number, etc. They want to know you're a legitimate business, not a scammer or money launderer. Every seller must have a valid credit card and bank account on file. The card is kept on file in case you have a negative account balance. Don't put in a debit card or prepaid gift card though as Amazon occasionally runs these cards to validate them and will freeze your account balance if they find a card that's not in compliance with their terms of service. The bank account is how Amazon pays you. Next, Amazon will ask you for some tax information. You can sell as an individual by plugging in your name and social security number. However, most sellers are a business, meaning an LLC or a corporation. To register as a business, make sure you have your tax ID on hand. If you have any questions about this part, make sure to contact a tax professional. After inputting your information, Amazon will ask you to choose an account type, individual or professional. If you plan on selling fewer than 40 items per month, opt for an individual plan. However, we recommend signing up for the professional account. It costs $39.99 per month plus individual transaction fees. Here's something important I just learned the other day. If someone else in your household has created an Amazon account before, you need to contact Amazon ASAP after creating your account and explain the situation. If you don't, Amazon will see multiple accounts coming from one IP address and they are liable to suspend your account. Better safe than sorry. Now you're ready to start your own Amazon journey. Did I miss anything? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel to catch all the updates along the way.